Today, the tattoo teens battle the hideous alien creature Voldek for the survival of Earth. A task made even more difficult when they return to a Beverly Hills in a parallel universe. And ready to light the way to my conquest of Earth. There. Those galactic sentinels will get a charge out of Voldek now. Voldek, overload the atmosphere with a massive electric charge, generating great electrical storms of destruction. Give the galactic sentinels the shock of their lives. a quote for the school paper? Well, sure. Uh, so, excuse me. Lori, I need my computer back. As soon as I get a quote from Gordon and type it up, okay? So, your quote? Well, Lori, you can tell your readers that I am very lucky to have such a loving and caring parent. And I know that she will put the same care and concern into serving as our mayor for a second term. I'd also like to add that... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, thanks. That's all I need. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Wait a minute. Come on, Gordon. You sound like Robo Sun. Is your life that perfect? Okay, okay. Well, this is strictly off the record. Okay. But the way I figure it is, I mean, no one wants to hear it's a chore going to fundraisers. Always smiling, listening to boring speeches, eating rubbery chicken. Yeah, I know what you mean. Being popular can be a grind. Sometimes I wish I had more time for myself. Don't look at me. I wouldn't know. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. Help yourself. <laughs> All these politician types are setting off my hypocrite alarm. You know, you couldn't pay me a million dollars to have anything to do with politics. How about a dime just to be quiet? <laughs> We've got to find a portal and get out of here. Gordon? Yeah. What's wrong with your arm? My arm? But... Uh, Nothing. Oh, good, because I'm giving my acceptance speech in 30 minutes and I want you to join me at the podium. I... I can't. Why not? I've... I've got, uh... D a terrible uh, itch. What? An itch. Uh, to finish my interview with Lori. Oh, yes. Well, remember, in 30 minutes, I'd like you to join me at the podium and don't be late. Yes, Mother. Don't worry, Mayor Henley. He'll be there. <sighs> Where's the portal? It's in the parking lot. Let's go. Ball 
deck is creating a negative ion storm in the city. The entire galaxy is at risk if Voldeck is not met with a positive force. And I'm positive my mom's gonna ground me if I don't get back in time. Let's go. Talk about your electrifying performance. Sentinels, you have fought well, but do not become too confident. I'm getting readings from Voldeck I've never seen before. Okay, great. You know where to reach us. Look, I've got to get to the rally. I can't miss my mom's speech. What's going on? Talk about a quote from the school paper. Drew's aunt is the new mayor of Beverly Hills. <laughs> yeah. Lori, if you're gonna be a reporter, you better get your facts right, or you're gonna end up writing warning labels on CDs. Gordon, check out the banner. Thank you all for your fabulous support. My administration will begin today to put my campaign promises into action. First, all parking meters will be removed from the shopping district. I don't believe this. I mean, what? everything was fine when we portaled out. What happened? I don't think we portaled back to the same universe we left. I feel woozy. I need a mineral water. Do you guys want anything? Where's my money? I had plenty of cash earlier. Do you suppose Nimbar... My credit cards are gone, too. Oh, no. This is too much. First, I'm not politically well-connected. And now I'm not rich, either. I'm broke. Henley! Quit loafing. Get to work. Apparently, you're the bus boy. Lori, wake me up. Is this a nightmare? Come on. Hi. <sighs> What is going on here? I'm being swamped with media attention. And how did Nicole get elected mayor? What's crazier is I'm a nobody. A complete social outcast. Don't sweat it, Lori. Popularity is not all it's cracked up to be. Gordon's right. There's something strange here. Uh, things just went from strange to hinky. Check out who's giving a poetry reading. I'd like to read from my latest book, Memos from Cyberspace. There's a flash of memory, kilobytes, kilobytes. Blank the screen, boot your mind. See yourself on the mezzanine. Oh. 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 To Jill. Come on, sweetie. Best regards, Swinton Sawyer. Oh. Come on, Poet Laureate. Nimbar, what's going on with the power portals? Is there a problem? Problem? Yeah, we didn't portal home. You didn't portal back to Beverly Hills? Well, yes, we did. You did or you didn't? Well, it was Beverly Hills, but not the same Beverly Hills we left. You guys talking about the portals? Yes. Nimbar, if we have to fight the monsters, I mean, the least you could do is get the return travel arrangements right. I'm sorry. The Eternal Gyroscope is dropping its mass to light ratio, sending you to an alternate destination. I need to determine which end of the portal is affected. Yeah, well, please do. I don't ever want to be poor or have to clean floors again. But right now, you must return to the city. 
Voldeck has returned. Okay, let's go, guys. We'll worry about our little dimensional detour when we get back. Scorpio! Horus! Centaur! Apollo! Curse that gelatinous wart, Nimba! He's giving the Sentinels superior strength each time they meet Voldek! But you have a plan! Of course! I will reprogram Voldek to deal with the Sentinels. Oh, how I hate the thought of Nimba gloating over his victories. Ooh, that was awesome. I've never felt so powerful. Me too. It was exhilarating. The power portal mass to light malfunction seems to have increased your powers. Believe me, I'm willing to give up that fringe benefit if you can get me back to the Beverly Hills I know and love. I agree. I can't make permanent repairs on the line strength gradients yet. The temporary fix will get you back home. Well, let's get going. I might have more autographs to sign. Oh, please. That wasn't poetry. It was a greeting card, Limerick. Thank you, thank you. I could have never been elected mayor without the help and support of my son, Swinton Sawyer. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> please, please, one question at a time. There's plenty of Swinton to go around. I can't believe it. No more goofed again. This is Nardicular. <laughs> hey, I got a hundred bucks. Come on, Lori Drew, I'm treating. Whoa, hold on, Big Spender. You'll need at least five of those. Foster, I expected more from you. Now get to work. <gasps> so I do something. <phone rings> oh, first time I've ever been glad to see this. Oh, let's get out of here before I have to scrub the floors with a toothbrush. Yeah, I'm with you. What about Swinton? <sighs> uh, Swinton. <laughs> Duty calls. What are you talking about? Getting out of here? Seeing Uncle Nimmy? So we can straighten out this alternate universe lifestyle thing? Are you kidding? This place is great! Come on, we gotta go! You're just jealous, Gordon. Now that I'm the mayor's son. Oh, quit goofing, Swinton. I'm not goofing, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here. I finally found my universe. Listen, Nimbart, you've got to do something. Your portal aim is still way off. It is? You portaled us to another Beverly Hills, worse than the last. I mean, I had money, but everything cost a fortune. The temporary repair must not have held. Oh, no! I have lost Swinton. Chill, Nimbar. <laughs> he decided to stay in that last universe. What? Did he think I sent him on vacation? How could you let him stay there? Us? Well, it's your fault. You sent him there in the first place. These equipment problems are very irritating. Irritating? Try totally bogus. Perhaps dangerous would be better. Care to explain, Nimbar? Boldeck is attacking with greater power. And with Swinton staying behind in another reality... We can't form Nitro. This is just great. Oh, well, come on, you two. Aren't we stronger than ever? We'll trash Boldeck. I'm afraid it's too risky. This battle could decide the fate of the entire galaxy. Swinton is necessary to form Nitron. You must go back and get him. See ya. I promise a computer in every home with total access to the information highway. Through bulletin boards and email, Beverly Hills will be the first truly electronic village. Nice speech, Swin. 
Mr. Mayor to you. Uh, Swenson, Mr. Mayor, we need you to come with us ASAP. Okay. I'm ready whenever you are. Huh? I only stay behind to make a scientific investigation. Oh, you want to see what happened to the universe when we left. It stayed the way it was. Until just now, when you portal back. Then you became mayor. So now we know the problem is at this end of the portal. Correct. As soon as Nimbar summons us, we can report it to him. Oh, speak of battling Emperor Gorganus. Surf's up. Excuse us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're, you're not leaving now, are you, uh, Mayor Swinton? Uh, yes, I... He's I, off to an international conference. Yes, an international conference on the proper use of outer space. Oh. <laughs> Good. I see you have persuaded Swinton to join us. Nimbar. I stayed behind to discover the source of the problem. Yeah, you learned the problem is on the Beverly Hills side of the portal. Good work, Swinton. Now I will be able to fix the malfunction. I hope so. Next time, the mayor of Beverly Hills might be Gumby. <laughs> now you must go and defeat Boldeck before he destroys the city. Scorpio! Taurus! Centaur! the portal, the Sentinels lost their extra power. Sentinels with your final strike! Congratulations, Sentinels. You have done a great service to your world and the galaxy by defeating Voldeck and thwarting Emperor Garganus's power play. Well, I hope while we're away, you finally fix the power portal. You need not fear. You will return to your former position. In that case, open a portal and send me home. <laughs> Be on your way. But remember, Emperor Garganus will try to conquer Earth again. Yeah, I hate mushy goodbyes, too. <laughs> As the mayor of Beverly Hills, I promised you we're going to slap a police a little bit around. <laughs> Sagan, whole Beverly's have to smell of the French perfume, how wonderful. Zsa <laughs> Zsa, mayor? Nimbar, I know this isn't right. And girls, we have to achieve that the jewelry store should be open 24 hours a day. After all, we get much more jewelry in the night than in daytime. Let's face it, darlings. <laughs> 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 